Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10, Build 17, 7.33 and all the releases back to 17, 7.23. These are new test previews for Windows 10 version 18.09 expected to release sometime in September or October. Now we have a closer look at the most important changes in these releases. Starting with Build 17, 7.33, the File Explorer Dark theme is now complete. Well, it's been pretty much complete in previous builds but Microsoft is only now officially saying that this new mode is considered a finished product. And the result looks pretty good. You can see how Microsoft has implemented the different levels of black across experience. The ribbons, font, icons, and even the file menu have been modified for this new dark mode. Also the dark theme extends to context menu. and dialog boxes. For example, if we open the uh, Paint app and then we try to open a file, we get a dark theme interface, which looks pretty nice. Uh, another change coming to Windows 10 version 18.09 or Redstone 5 is the ability to open the uh, game bar from the start menu. Previously, you were only able to use a keyboard shortcut, but now you can just open the start menu and look for the uh, game bar and then just open the experience for the application or game that you're currently using. Also on Windows 10 Redstone 5 update you're going to find the uh, your phone app which is just a new experience designed to integrate your phone even further with your computer allowing you to access text, photos, and notifications from your phone wirelessly. The new experience is expected to work with iPhone and Android, but in this first release, the Your Phone app is only available for Android devices and with limited features to simply linking your phone and accessing your recent photos, as you can see right here. You can access the uh, settings page, but there are not a lot of settings that you can uh, adjust and when you go to photos you can you can click to open the photo and you can also drag and drop photos from the app to the desktop or or another folder and everything is done without using a cable now let's jump into the settings app to see some of the changes in that experience as you can see now we have a right side that shows you suggestions and other links for some reason, uh, suggestions are not appearing on, on this installation, but I can show you an image that gives you an example of how those uh, suggestions looks like. And of course, if you don't like to see any type of suggestions or even an empty section on the right, you can simply go to the uh, privacy settings and turn off this toggle switch. And then when you go back, everything returns to to the same homepage that you used to see in previous releases. Also, now when we go to the apps section, more specifically to the uh, video playback, we're going to see that now we have a new a new section called Stream HDR Video, and, and in here we can find a link to the uh, Windows HD color settings on accounts, on family and other users. In this page, now we get a new wizard to set up kiosk mode. The new page provides the wizard that walks you through the kiosk setup float, including creating a kiosk account that would automatically sign in on the device to start. So I'm not gonna go through all the uh, settings, but you get an idea how this new wizard looks like. Well, I guess I did go through all the steps that you need to go through. Now, let me see how I can remove this. And there you go. It's that easy. On ease of access, on the uh, magnifier page, you'll find a new option that allows you to choose where to keep the mouse cursor. 
and we have two options the within the edge of the screen and center on the screen and that's pretty much all that's new on the uh, settings up for Windows 10 17 733 and previous releases also under the hood Windows 10 is adding a new logic to install updates which means that if you have an update pending Windows 10 will more accurately predict when when is the best time to reboot your computer which aims to make a Windows update a little less intrusive Windows 10 also now supports lip second which allows occasionally one second adjustments in a traceable and UTC compliant manner allowing to display time more accurately also in this version we get an updated version of emojis and according to Microsoft PDF activities used in Microsoft Edge will now show in timeline but I've tested this functionality and it isn't working for me on the uh, latest version of preview builds Microsoft also removing some of the feature that were previously included for example the uh, block suspicious behavior on Windows Defender and also recommended troubleshooting on the troubleshoot page on the uh, settings app which was a feature that allowed Windows 10 to fix common problems automatically as you can see in this last four preview builds there is not a lot of significant improvements and that's because Microsoft is currently in the stages of finalizing the update as such moving forward most previews will only include minor improvements and a lot of fixes also even though we're still weeks away from the official launch of the uh, Redstone 5 update the performance of the latest build is quite good and seems a little bit less buggy than in previous builds and that's all the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17 733 17 730 17 728 and 17 723 remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing